Hey, this is Miles, KC1VTJ, and I just got this Anytone AT778 UV radio. And uh, I like it quite a bit. I've used it for a couple weeks now, and I've made quite a few uh, simplex and local repeater contacts on it over FM, which is what it natively supports. It does 25 watts and runs at 12 volts. It's supposed to be a mobile radio, but I use it as my uh, base station, and I powered off this old desktop ATX power supply, and it works great. I have no problems with it, actually. The one thing that I don't like is that it doesn't support APRS or any other digital modes natively. And because I've had some growing interest recently in these digital modes, I have had a idea where I can create my own cable to connect to it so that I can uh, kind of hack my way into doing digital modes with this radio. And I did something similar in my previous video uh, with the Baofeng radio. Um, and I created this little box which is basically an adapter to convert this audio jack, which plugs into the radio, into your typical 3.5 millimeter male audio connectors, which then could be plugged into a laptop sound card and could be decoded, encoded, whatever you want to do on the laptop. Um, thing is, <clears throat> this radio does not actually have one of these uh, ports on it, so I couldn't actually use this box for it. So what I did is I created a secondary version. Um, this port right here, let me see if I can show you. It is an RJ95 connector, same thing as typical Cat5 Ethernet. And I have this old Cat5 cable lying around, so I cut it up, uh, cut it right in half actually, and I soldered two 3.5 millimeter male jacks <coughs> to the appropriate wires on this RJ95 cable, or sorry, this Cat5 cable. Um, and with that, I can plug the and the, the actual Ethernet end into the connector on the radio, and I can plug the two audio cable ends into the sound card on my laptop, and I can essentially now do digital modes. So if you're wondering how to make one of these and the schematics or any of the parts I used on this, um, check out my website at mileshilliard.com. I'm going to post a link to that in the description, and shortly I'm going to have a blog post <laughs> with all the... Uh, schematics, wiring, and all the information that you need to make your own. I already have one for my Baofeng radio. It's a little while back, so you may have to <laughs> scroll through some of the blogs. Um, but it is there, and I also have a video on it that I talked about how I built it and some of the other things on this channel. So feel free to check that out if you're interested in the Baofeng version. Um, but for now, I'm going to be sticking with the Anytone, as this is my new radio, and I would like to do some digital modes. Um, mainly APRS, as I've had some growing interest in it. So right now I have it all hooked up, it's plugged into the radio, and it's plugged into my sound card through this little adapter that I've made, and I'm going to tune to my APRS frequencies, which I have programmed in here. There it is, APRS, it's pretty active where I am, so I'm expecting transmissions pretty frequently, and on this laptop, which is running Ubuntu, I'm going to run Direwolf, which is a pretty common software. I installed it on this, I built it from source, put it on the laptop, and um, it works great. So I'm going to run that, and now it's listening. So whenever I get some APRS transmissions that are not just garbage, um, there you go. You see them being decoded right on the computer screen there. So this is all live happening directly from the radio. Audio is being sent from the radio into the sound card of my computer and being decoded uh, as APRS packets right here. Um, you can see it's pretty active around me, so I'm getting a lot of traffic, uh, which is pretty cool, but there's lots of stuff going on, so this is just one of the things you can do with this. This is APRS, which is one digital mode, but you can do things like uh, SSTV, for example, uh, less common, but you can do it on the 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands, very possible. Um, there's other things like RTTY, FSK, other packet radio and stuff like that, um, but for right now, I'm working with APRS, which is pretty fun. And um, yeah, so this is it receiving. And now I'm gonna demonstrate the transmitting side of this coal contraption. And now to demonstrate transmitting with this adapter I have, I have tuned my Anytone radio to a pretty vacant um, U or, yes, UHF frequency here. Um, there's no traffic on this, so I have no problem transmitting on it. Uh, I set my Vox, turn that on, set my volume to two, and yeah, I have the Vox on the most sensitive option, which would be number one. And I have my little Baofeng here tuned to the same frequency. Let's see if you can see that. You can see 444.445. Four, 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 
And in order to transmit, I'm going to go to my website, uh, mileshilliard.com. And I have a website uh, that I created for Morse code transmission here. So this is some ham radio CW tools. So I have my Morse encoder. And I just have my call sign here. So what I'm going to do is, actually, no, I'm going to have it repeat every one second. And what I'm going to do is then transmit. That was a different repeater. I'm going to now transmit that Morse code, which will then uh, be sent from my laptop to the radio and should come out through my bow thing because it's tuned to the same frequency. So let's do that. And there you have it. You can see it is transmitting and it's repeating every one second as I have set up. And you can see it's coming out of the Biofang radio. So there you have it. This cable can now let you have uh, digital modes on your Anytone AT778 radio. Um, so if you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'd be happy to help you. Um, if you'd like to build this, I'm going to have a blog on my website, as I said, mileshillier.com. Check it out. Um, and it's going to have all the information, the schematics, the parts, the wiring, any you know information you might need to uh, aid you in building such, such a device. Uh, I will totally help you there. And, yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it. And, um, yeah, this is KC1 VTJ, and I will be clear.